Okay, Libra. This is your behind the scenes reading for January 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for January 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for January 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for January 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Libra. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So, Libra, listen, could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something here. I want to take this leap of faith. I want to set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Libra. Clarify the fool for Libra. Clarify the fool for Libra. It is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Libra could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Libra could be dealing with a Gemini. But you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And maybe you want to just <laughs> jump on that. <laughs> huh, Libra, you're saying that someone has another other lover here. Clar and it could be you. Clarify the lovers for Libra. Clarify the lovers for Libra. Clarify the lovers for Libra. It is clarified with the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Libra, some type of sneakiness here, some type of sneakiness here, someone is, okay, let me just say this, let me just say this, you can tell me that it's you who wants to just up and do this? You want to just take this leap of faith. You have this other lover here. You're wearing a mask and you're sneaking around with this person. Mm -hmm. Or you're telling me that your partner may have taken a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship and had another other lover out cheating. This can be vice versa. Libra, you have the seven of pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest could be waiting on money so Libra listen you can tell me that you're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship clarify the seven of pentacles for Libra clarify the seven of pentacles for Libra clarify the seven of pentacles for Libra it is clarified with the ace of pentacles Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that there is this offer of practicality or commitment coming into you, maybe a gift, dinner here, you're thinking about it, mm, whether or not you care to invest or reinvest here, Libra. Libra, when we're dealing with the lovers, this can be a partnership with work or business. Are you sneaking off away from one employer because you have opportunity to make more money somewhere else, Libra? You have the three of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Libra, listen, you know, your ships are here. Mm -hmm. You can tell me that you're waiting and expecting something here, or you're looking to see what else is out there. Are you, like, sneaking away from something to go towards something else? Clarify the three of wands for Libra. Clarify the three of wands for Libra. Clarify the three of wands for Libra. It is clarified with the three of wands. Honey, listen. Are you, cha <laughs> Are you chasing the money, Libra? Are you? Listen, I feel like there's something here shiny and sparkly in your face. <laughs> could be a lover, could be a job, but I feel like you're waiting, waiting, waiting. I feel like you want to look to see what else is out there. I feel like you want to go for it. I feel like you want to sneak off. I feel like you want to do it. You just want to go for it, but you're thinking about it. Libra, Libra, you have the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that, you know, there's distance between you and your partner, emotional or physical distance. This is also a travel card, three travel cards here, and the fool wanting to travel and sneaking off here. So some type of travel. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely here, or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Libra. Clarify the world for Libra. Clarify the world for Libra. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Libra, listen. Honey, there's something new here for you. Some type of blessing or new love. I feel like a cycle has to close out somewhere else before you can jump on this new job or well listen just some people just up and leave it has to close out somewhere okay close out with the 
present relationship or a close out with the present employer, but there's new, new here for you. It's like you're looking to see what else is out there. You're ready to expand. You're ready to go for it. You're ready to go for it. Hmm. You have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but yes, you can tell me something is ending. And yes, something could be starting new after this ending. Some type of transformation, Libra. Clarify death for Libra. Clarify death for Libra. Clarify death for Libra. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Libra, listen, very well could be a shocking shakeup, shocking surprise happening here, or a major breakup and ending. Yeah, all of the above. Clarify the tower for Libra. Clarify the tower for Libra. Clarify the tower for Libra. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the Five of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things panned out in the relationship. You know, Libra, listen. I feel like there's a stage ending, and yes, you're going to mourn. You might feel remorse and regret, but something is ending only because something new is about to begin for you. Whether this is relationship or this is like some type of opportunity with work or business, I feel like you feel like, and maybe you're kind of, how can I say? <laughs> how can I say? You've already made steps towards this new while you're still in the old, it, to the onlooker, it may look like you're, you were sneaking, or sneaking, maybe doing something, starting something new, but I feel like you were preparing for your next step, okay, your next step, and yes, preparing for your next step while you're in a relationship is generally frowned upon, it's frowned upon, people don't like that, but I feel like you were, you were planning your plan B, while you were dealing with plan A, okay? Libra, this is your behind the scenes reading for January 2022. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.